good morning. I can still say good morning because it's 11.30. Um, it's the next day. We recorded being at the park yesterday. Oh my gosh, the stress of yesterday. You really don't understand. Actually, all you mothers probably understand. We had such a nice time at the park. We came home and then just kind of went downhill from there. The kids were really like hungry, even though I took snacks to the park. Yes, I did take snacks to the park, but that wasn't enough. They were still like starving like Marvin. I haven't heard that saying in such a long time. And then, so we came out to quickly make them food. Then I had to prepare for iftar. I marinated some chicken because I was going to make some chicken burgers. Like, firstly, I was putting the pepper in the chicken. And then, luckily, the pepper, I wasn't over the chicken, but the pepper all spilled everywhere. Then, I realised that I was putting tablespoon instead of... Um, teaspoon with the recipe required teaspoon instead of tablespoon so I was just like oh my gosh I had to somehow sort that out which I did I managed to sort it out and then what else um just everything was going wrong and then I had Fizzle coming up to me mama can you do activity with me can you do activity with me and I was like I can't do it right now we've just come from the park just watch some tv the tv is your activity and then he's she's like um, oh, Mama, can you, Daddy will do it with me. Just give us the stuff. Daddy will do it for me. And I'm, I'm looking over at her daddy. And he's, like, half asleep because he's fasting and he, being out in the sun and his hay fever was playing up. So he I was like, how is he going to manage to do it? So I was like, just not right now, said I. Just go and play or go watch some TV. So she stopped asking stuff. It was just manic yesterday. It was going crazy. It's just... But anyways, my iftar turned out nice. I made then, on top of that, these two girls decide that they're going to go to sleep at one o'clock in the morning. And it's kind of my fault as well because I didn't push them to like, come on, let's go upstairs and go to bed now. I was just, I was just like so tired and just not even tired. I was just like, my mind just doesn't care right now what's going on in the world. I just need to sit here on the sofa and not do nothing because of just of that stressful three hours we had when we got back from the park. And they were playing so nicely. It's like they weren't was they weren't even disturbing me. They were playing so nicely, and I do the sleep routine because um, Sharky sleeps downstairs till Sehri. Otherwise, if he comes upstairs and does a sleep routine, he'll fall asleep with them and then he won't wake up for Sehri. So they went to sleep at one o'clock in the morning. Yes, my kids, four-year-old and two-year-old, went to sleep one o'clock in the morning. I'm a great mother, aren't I? But, yeah, so anyways, that's fine. So they finally went to sleep, I was like, oh. So then I was laying down, I was on my phone for a bit, and then I fell asleep. He's gone to work this morning because he's had to go and sort some things out. And so my morning's just like, I'm so used to him being home now, my morning's just like, ugh. So I woke up in the morning, um, they woke up, he did making loads of noise and I was like, shh, Fizz is sleeping, let Fizz sleep, but no, she's, like, usually she doesn't do this, but because Fizz is sleeping, yet, yeah, I've come downstairs, she's standing on top of the stairs screaming, Mama, Mama, she, she doesn't usually do it, but Fizz is asleep, so she's going to do it today, I'm just like, oh my days. Fizza, that you lot slept so late, like just let her have a full sleep. Otherwise, if Fizza does, wakes up not in a good mood, it's just my my whole day is stressful because all she does all day is na 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 na. Everything's not right in her life when she wakes up in a bad mood. So I was just like, please don't wake her up. And then, oh my gosh, it's just negative, negative, negative. I'm telling you, but this is the reality of motherhood, right? It's not always perfect. So I thought I'd tell you because. When the negative stuff's happening, right, I'm not going to get my camera out and, like, record it to show you a lot. So I might as well tell you, right? So, yeah, anyways, this morning, it is just poo-poo in her nappy. Sorry for too much information. Leaked everywhere. So it was all down her leg, all on her back, all on her feet. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So um, we went, I went and gave her a full shower, which I tried to avoid to do. I tried to just let Sharky do because um, she cries and cries. She hates having a bath. She got all right 
and then when we went to Pakistan she didn't like it again I think she had a bath one time with like cold water and she didn't like it so now she's back to stage one of crying 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 during the shower like she used to do it when she was younger and then she got over it and it's like we used to have fun shower times and bath times but now it's back to square one but yeah so she was screaming and crying while I was trying to give her a bath and I was just like oh like, how am I going to survive when Sharky goes back to work? I won't be able to survive. It's so hard. Um, I was so used to it before we went to Pakistan, like, six days a week being at home. No, well, five and a half days being at home. And now he's when he does actually go back to work properly, he's not going back to work yet. But when he does go back to work, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm actually, I don't know how I'm going to manage two kids. Like, I, d I really don't know because I don't remember how to. I will do it because that's naturally, but yeah. But yeah, that's my update from yesterday and this morning. So that, anyways, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and get changed. The girls are inside having breakfast. Um, yes, 11.30, they're having breakfast, okay. I just managed to give them, we woke up actually, they were all down, we were all downstairs by like, 10 10 30 but with all the poo poo drama and all that and you know, giving a bath like they're just having their breakfast now but it's fine i was meant to marinate some lamb chops last night but because of the kids going to sleep late and all that drama i just didn't so that's what i'm going to do this morning i'm going to marinate some lamb chops and that's going to be for iftar today we're probably going to have lamb chops and some maybe some pakoris or homemade chips i don't know i haven't decided what else yet but yeah the main dish is going to be lamb chops we don't i don't make too much because when you open your fast you don't feel like eating that much anyway but um i will make like two things um i think yeah that's it that's anyways i'll like carry on vlogging today and let's see what the day brings up should we get changed put some nice clothes on <laughs> See, because Idij woke her up, she's in a bad mood now. See what I told you, look, guys, this is what she's like if you wake her up and she hasn't had a good sleep. We're going to have to fix that. I might have to put her to sleep today for a nap. No, you yeah, have Yeah, you big baby. You have a death. So I'm going to marinate my lamb chops now. and So I'm going to do it now. It's um five to one. So that gives it enough time before iftar to like marinate and stuff. So anyways, yeah, I got this recipe from a page on Instagram called She Cooks A Lot. So I've already got my little dish of um, seasoning. So, oh, can you hear this? Okay, so here I've got um, three quarters rosemary, three quarters thyme, thyme, thyme. I can't say that properly. I don't even know how to say it. Never, this is the first time I'm using this, so that's probably why I can't say it. Three quarters um, garlic, garlic granules. Three quarters ground pepper. Three quarters salt. And she says use three garlic smash, but I use like three big ones and one little small one. Because I love garlic. So, I'm going to throw that all in. She says to juice one lemon and pour it in. So I'm going to juice my lemon and I'm going to use my little gadget from Poundland. I think they still sell this, by the way. Like, I can't live without this. Juice the lemon. All the little bits, like, come here and then you get the nice, just the lemon juice there. And then you just pour it out. Or you can just take the lid off and pour it in. Whatever floats your boat. But yeah, I'm going to juice that now quickly. So yeah, so my lemon is juiced. I'm going to pour that in. Next, she says, drizzle in olive oil. I don't have it. Yeah, so I don't have olive oil because it's running low. Well, not running low, it's not. I don't have any, it's finished. So I'm just going to use your basic vegetable oil. So drizzle it over. I feel like that's enough. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it all up well. Because that's what she told me to do, so that's what I'm going to do. Got my glove on because I ain't about the life of, you know, getting it all in your nails. So mix it all up really well. 
Huh? Open. Okay, tell Sh Shisha, can you open that for her? Too much sweet. One. One, girl. Not one handful. One. Oh, my days. You can have one more, Fizz. She ran away. She literally got a handful of sweets out of the packet and ran for her life. Right. I feel like that's marinated enough. I've been going at it for a while. But yeah, that's marinated. So I'm going to cover it up and stick it in the fridge. I'm ready for later on so I can cook it for Ifka. So there you go. Thank you for watching. See you later. So I set these two up with some painting. Yeah, They've got their own little paints because they fight over it. Doggy. Yeah. No, you listen, you don't need listen, you're gonna go crazy with that water. Stop it. Just use your paint. Oh <sighs> anyways, I'll set them up Mama, with the That's your one, that's fizzes. No more water. You don't need water. You're gonna soak up your paper. Anyways, what was I saying? I set them both up with painting. Just to get them off the screens for a bit and also so I can have a moment to myself. I'm not going to sit with them, which I don't know why I'm doing that because this one's just going to make a lot of mess. But I need a moment to myself and I need to tidy up this mess. It has just awoken. Open what? You just woke up. How was your sleep? Not good. Where's dish? Where's dish? So I'm going to make pagodas now. You can make pagodas like however you want to make them. You can put whatever you want to put in them. But I'll show you how I make mine. So first I'm going to cut an onion into small pieces. Then I'm going to put some potatoes into it. I'm going to put more than this. But I'm going to go wash them first. So I cut my potatoes and I'm going to put them all in. There's loads. Oh, by the way, I'm making enough mix to last me today and tomorrow. So you can do that, by the way. You can make enough to last you for like... Well, I usually just do it for two days. I don't know if it lasts longer than that. But, um, yeah, for two days. And then... So you use however much you want to make today. And then you just cover it and put it in the fridge. So there you go. My potatoes are done. Um, next I would add these but I've only got this one so Sharkin has gone to go get more I usually add about well this size one I'll add about four five maybe um, the long ones I'll add about yeah three four I don't know it depends on how chilly you want it how spicy you want it so I'll just put this Lone Ranger in it for now yeah, it doesn't look right with just that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to... Shark is going to bring more, so I'm going to put more in there. Um, so, here you can put whatever you want. You, some people put peas in it, but I don't like peas, so I'm not going to put peas in it. Um, I'm going to put some spinach in it, because spinach actually comes out really nice in it. I freeze my spinach so it doesn't go off. So I'm just going to chop it up a little bit. Do you know, like, I've only started making pakoras in the last maybe three years. Before that, I used to get my mum to make them because I just didn't have confidence in the kitchen, you know. I could do everything, but I just didn't have the confidence. So I used to get mum to do it for me, then bring it home, and I used to fry it myself. So I'm going to put that in the bowl. I'm going to chop up this coriander and put it all up in there as well so I'm going to put my coriander in the bowl and I'm just going to mix it up I'm going to add some salt and chilli ok so now I'm going to add the ground flour and I'm going to go get a glass of water ready on the side Um, you want it a kind of runny but not too runny consistency like let me just show you so basically I'll start by just Add in some ground flour there. And then I'll add a bit of water. And then I'll mix. So I'm going to need more water. 
winter by the way but and more ground flour like this and I'm just gonna taste it to make sure there's enough salt and like chili but just by doing that and putting it in my tongue I feel like it needs more salt I feel like it needs more chili so what you're gonna do is you're gonna deep fry these till they're of a golden color so you basically put your oil on high like wait till the oil gets hot and then you put use a, a tablespoon and put them in it depends what size you want them but we like them small so we put a tablespoon and put it in the oil like you can do loads at the same time but just make sure they're not stuck to each other once they they'll come up to the top of the oil and then you turn them around and then just keep turning them or turn them up again around after a while and when they're like golden a golden like brownie colour then they're ready and usually the oil gets really hot so I'll kind of put it down to medium as well because then it cooks it makes it go it cooks the outside quickly and some of them the potatoes are not like gone soft so you don't want that because you don't want to have like really burnt on the outside bagorias so I'll put the meat up like halfway through I'll put the heat down on medium <coughs> so yeah that's done. I'm gonna put that to the side, and I'm actually gonna. It's eight o'clock. I'm gonna do the lamb chops now. Cook the lamb chops. So guys, I'll tell you how to make this rice. So basically what you do is, you tell your husband to jump in the car, drive down to your mum's house and pick it up. This is actually made by my mum. It's a rib rice. Like these are ribs. Lamb chop chops were a success. They are so nice. So yummy. Oh my gosh. I've never made lamb chops that good in my life, honestly. But yes. Thank you, Mum, for the rice. One might say that this is too much of a noisy activity for night time. One might say. This one is to make it loud. This yeah. one is to make it as slow like this. Okay. So that's to turn it off. See? <laughs> So I'm in a really good mood because my lamb chops turned out really nice so I'm really happy. Um, like I've made lamb chops twice before I think, yeah twice before and they've not turned out nice, they've just been like too much, um, I don't know, they just not turned out that nice. Um, edible but not that nice. This is the first time my lamb chops have turned out perfect. The flavourings thank you the flavoring's perfect um, the flavoring was perfect the way the way it was cooked was perfect just everything was perfect it was so nice and i honestly believe it's the it's because of the recipe that i followed um so yeah so definitely go you put that one on okay wait so definitely go follow that girl's instagram page i think she's new because um there's not many recipes on there but the recipes that are on there look really nice so i'm definitely gonna try 
yeah i'm definitely going to try more of her recipes out definitely and yeah go follow her i'll leave her instagram page below but yeah definitely go follow her definitely try out this lamb chops um recipe yeah so thumbs up perfect i love it when a uh, a new uh, when i try out a new recipe and it turns out nice love it so anyways um i'm gonna say bye now because we're gonna just play a little bit in their room look at the mess they're making yeah so let me just say bye come do you want to sit with me say bye yeah with all your jewelry on yeah so bye. I'll... Hi guys. Hi guys. not hi guys now so then we're gonna tidy up read a story and go to bed so i'm gonna say bye thank you for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you bye. That story that looks a bit. I haven't read that yet actually. So that's I haven't read it. It's okay. I said the my naughty. I can see a That's it. That's, that's not it. That's the bar. That's the bar. It's not a teddy bear's baby. My goodbye.